This is one of England's largest textile plants, and there's something very fishy going on. See what I mean? There's more fish to be caught here than most people have had hot dinners. Binfuls of them. This is the tilapia fish, a native of Africa. It's referred to in St. Matthew's Gospel. Jesus told Peter to cast a hook into the warm waters of the Sea of Galilee to obtain a piece of silver with which to pay the Romans. Hence the common name of the fish, St. Peter's fish. So what is a freshwater fish, foreign to northern climes, doing in a place like this? This is Pisces aquaculture in Derby, the brainchild of marine biologist Adrian Barnes. He recognised the potential that existed in the textile plant's effluent. Clean, fresh, hot water. Cold water drawn from the nearby river Derwent is used to cool certain industrial processes. The water gets hot and must be cooled before it can be returned to the river, a process which could itself be costly. Now though, Pisces Aquaculture take that hot water and pump it round the fish ponds, which act like huge radiators, dissipating the heat before it's returned to the river. And the tilapia love temperatures of 26 degrees Celsius. So everybody's happy, including the young fry, who in their early days are closely looked after by mother. At the first sign of trouble, she scoops the kids up into her mouth. Don't swallow them, Mum. Feeding time is around the clock. They're fed mainly on a diet of soya-based vegetable protein, an economic and environmentally sound form of food. Before the now cooled water can go back into the river, any ammonia which is toxic to fish is removed. Good housekeeping is ensured by three filtration processes. First, a rotating drum filters out any solid waste. Then the roots of water hyacinths help convert ammonia into nitrates. And finally, a bed of stones harbors bacteria which take out any remaining pollutants. In the breeding ponds, the sex of the young fry is controlled through hormone feeding. Then they're closely monitored in an indoor rearing tank. Finally, they're put into the outdoor tanks full of hot water. These fish reach maturity at around eight months. And that's when the big juicy ones are creamed off. They just lower the level of the water tank and scoop them up. And then it's off to the packing plant. There's a big future for this fish as a food in the UK. In their first year, this company produced 120 tonnes of St Peter's fish. And their target over the next five years is to reach 3,000 tonnes. And in the UK, one of the largest supermarket chains is selling this exotic homegrown catch at an affordable price. It looks good, it tastes good. And with a name like St Peter's Fish, it must be good.